So at the moment I'm a little bit obsessed with colour change and vinyl and also these beer can style Libby glasses. So I thought in this video I would show you how to make this using a ready-made glass wrap SVG. So let's get started. So you can obviously make your own design but there are a ton of really nice templates out there on Etsy on design bundles just make sure you're looking for ones that are suitable for vinyl and they're not more for sublimation so those are ones that have just kind of like a few different colors and layers they're not too complicated you also want to be looking for the right size for your glass so i'm using a 16 ounce libby glass so that's what i've been looking for and these ones here all look like they would be pretty suitable for vinyl, most of them anyway. I'm gonna go with this one, I like the retro vibes and it only needs four different colors, so it's not too complicated. So I'm just gonna purchase that, download it and upload the SVG into Design Space and it should be the correct size for your glass, you shouldn't need to edit it. However, you may want to weld certain things together so in this one I need to weld all of the same colours together so that they will be in the right place when they cut. So just, just go through and do that and make sure they're all going to be in the right place like that when they're on the mat. Then to make it easier to layer I'm also going to add a little guide. You can add kind of any shape you want. I tend to do stars. Duplicate it for all of the different layers you'll see why in a minute. Zoom in as well so you can kind of see what you're doing and then you're going to weld your shape with each of the layers so that it becomes the same colour. So there I've just done the pink one. Make sure your next star is at the top so you can see where you're putting it. Make sure it's definitely in the exact same place as the first star and then you can weld that with the next colour. And this just makes it super easy to kind of know where you're placing things and then you just take the stars off at the end. So once they're all done, when you go to make it, just double check that the star's in the right place there. And then you can go ahead and cut that first layer. I am using these colour changing vinyl sheets, which I have kindly been gifted from TechRap. And some really nice colours in there. I'm going to go with these four. And I have a link and also a discount code for US buyers in my description if you want to try them out too. I'm just using my Cricut cutter to make sure I've got the right sizes. And I was also given this Tech Wrap mat as well. It works exactly the same as Cricut mats. I'm just using a bro roller to make sure it's completely stuck down. And then with Tech Wrap vinyl, you have to take off a top plastic cover before you cut so don't forget about that. And I'm just going to be cutting my first layer here. Once that's done it'll automatically move on to the next layer for you. So all of those are cut now. Just cutting away the excess so I can use all of that at a different time and then on this one I'm just cutting some of the blank space as well. You might not want to do it like this, you might want to just kind of randomly add the shapes and that means you waste less vinyl. But if you want to get it all completely straight and in the right place, especially with the wording, this is probably the easiest way to do it. So again, just getting rid of the excess vinyl. But then I decided to put these sheets just to the side and then I'll add them to the backing paper once everything's done and then I can reuse bits of that again. I also got sent this weeding pen from TechRap and it's really pretty. I'm not quite used to using it. I think maybe I'm a little bit heavy handed but it is good for getting into the really small bits. Also using the TechRap transfer tape which has these helpful grid bits on and I'm just doing it the size of my biggest layer and I'm going to use that yellow layer as kind of the bottom. I'm going to add the green one on top of that. So there's a there's two ways you could do it. You can either add your vinyl all on one backing sheet and then apply it. So this is what you do. You just make sure you rub the back and peel the paper away from the tape. That is always easier. And then it often comes off a lot easier when you do it that way. So 
as I said, I'm just going to put the backings back on there and then I can reuse that for something else, all the bits that haven't been cut. And then I'm going to add that to that back yellow section. So, and here's where your star's coming. You can just line those up and everything will be in the right place. Take your transfer tape off and then you'll have that on one backing sheet. But I'm actually going to add these two layers to the glass and then I'll add the next layers on top of that so you can see the other way you can do it. So I'm using, this is my 69 Slibby glass. Take the top off to make it easier. And these squeegees also second as a very handy cup holder, if you didn't know already. So we're gonna line that up with the top and bottom. This design's pretty good because it's got those flowers are cut off, so it can it kind of shows you where it needs to go. But so that it doesn't all stick down at the same time, I'm just gonna add a little bit of that backing sheet back on it. And then I can focus on my right hand side for now. So I'll line that up, get it in the right place, and then just smooth it round to the side. And then I can just peel that backing sheet off when I'm ready to do the other side. And then you can just grab your squeegee just to push bits down if it needs it, and then peel your transfer tape off. Sticks pretty well, but you may need to just push things down a bit. Then I'm gonna add this layer straight onto the glass and so again, it's just a case of lining up those stars. It is quite hard to see with this vinyl because it's so light. You might want to put something kind of darker underneath it, but just make sure it is definitely in the right place before you start smoothing down. And just be careful not to peel off any of the other layers when you're taking off the transfer tape. The transfer tape did actually rip at this point. So I had to go back to my Old Faithful transfer tape for the last layer. Again, just lining the stars up and carefully pan it down. Still just adding the backing paper in so nothing sticks down in the wrong place. And I've got a little bit more control. I think that flower, I had actually placed it in the wrong place. I'd have taken it off when I was weeding and put it back down. So it's ended up the wrong bit of the glass. As you can see, it needs to be a bit higher up where there's a gap, but luckily TechRap also sent me these tweezers. So I just placed, took it off and placed it in the right spot. And there it is done. I'm just taking those stars off. You don't wanna leave those on because there've been four layers, it's just, gonna be quite right and then I'm just gonna try it out with some iced coffee and see what colors they go you can see the colors starting to change already I did put my coffee in the freezer for a little bit so it's quite cold just adding some extra ice in there and it is really good vinyl the colors change super quick and they're really vibrant just adding milk to make them stand out even more as you can see changing super quick and I really like the colour combination it is a very like funky bright summery retro vibe going on it's mixing it up to get to make sure all of the vinyl gets cold and then on my desk to brighten up my day while I'm working so I hope you enjoyed that Please don't forget to like, follow and subscribe for more videos like this in future. And don't forget I've got those links in the description for the vinyl as well.